Good day, students. I am Mr. Aremoba Mideli Okoyemi. I will be your financial accounting teacher for this session. The topic before me today is Nigerian Stock Exchange. Before we proceed, let us look at our learning objectives for today. At the end of the lesson, all students listening to me will be able to, one, narrate the historical background of Nigerian Stock Exchange. Two, enumerate five functions of Nigerian Stock Exchange. Three, discuss the operations of Nigerian Stock Exchange. Four, describe the members of Nigerian Stock Exchange. And five, analyze Abuja Securities and Commodity Exchange. The picture display is showing the Nigerian Stock Exchange. On the right hand side and the left hand side, we have both the stock uh, uh, brokers and also the investors. It means that the investors cannot just go into the floor of Nigerian Stock Exchange to buy or sell the securities, except they pass through the stock brokers. What then is Nigerian Stock Exchange? The Nigerian Stock Exchange services the largest economy in Africa and is championing the development of Africa's financial market. It is a registered company limited by guarantee, which was founded on September 15, 1960 as the Lagos Stock Exchange. Operations, however, began officially on August 25, 1961 with 19 securities listed for trading. Operations were initially conducted inside the central bank building with the exchange having four firms as market dealers. Inlax, John Hort, City Bowring, and investment company of Nigeria, ICON. The volume for August 1961 was about 80,500 pounds and it rose to about 250,000 pounds in September of the same year with the bulk of the investments in government securities. In December 1977, the name changed from Lagos Stock Exchange to the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Over the years, it has established branches in some of the major commercial cities of the country, like Kaduna, Portakot, Kano, Abuja, Ibadan, Ilori, Yola, Baoshi, uh, Abekuta, Oweri, Onicha, uh, Bene, Uyo, and Lagos being the headquarters. The Nigerian Stock Exchange is licensed under the Investment and Security Act, ISA, and is regulated by the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, of Nigeria. The exchange offers listing and trading services, licensing services, market data solutions, ancillary technology services, and more. It is committed to adopting the highest levels of international standards. To support this commitment, the Nigerian Stock Exchange belongs to a number of international and regional organizations that promote the development and integration of global best practices across its operations, which include 1. International Organization of Securities Commissions, IOSCO. 2. World Federation of Exchanges, WFE. 3. United Nations Sustainable Security Exchange Initiative, UNSSEI. 4. Financial Information Services Division, FISD. 5. Intermarket Surveillance Group, ISG. And 6. African Securities Exchange Association, ASEA. The Nigerian Stock Exchange is even a founding member and executive me committee member of the African Securities Exchange Association, ASEA. Nigerian Stock Exchange Market is a multi-asset exchange with 166 equities, 154 bonds, 9 exchange-traded funds, ETFs, and 53 memorandum listings with a total market capitalization of over 25 trillion naira as at May year 2020. The following actors are involved in the Nigerian stock exchange market. 1. Nigerian Deposit Insurance Corporation, NDIC. This corporation ensures all the deposit bonds of licensed banks and the other financial institutions operating in Nigeria. 2. Security and Exchange Commission, SEC. This commission has a three-pronged mission, that is 1. To protect investors, two, to maintain fair, orderly, and efficient markets, and three, to facilitate the capital formation. Functions of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. One, it promotes a platform for selling and buying of stocks and securities. Two, it promotes opportunities for raising new capital. Three, it protects the investors from shady deals. Four, it facilitates dealings in government securities. Five, it encourages savings. Six, it disseminates information to entrepreneurs and industrialists. Seven, it assists government
to implement monetary policies. Eight, it provides parameters for measuring companies' goodwill. Nine, it fights against inflation. And ten, it advises the government, investors, and industrialists dealing with stocks and securities. We shall go on a short break now. When we come back, we shall continue with the operations and daily members of Nigerian Stock Exchange. See you shortly. You are welcome back to the second segment of Financial Accounting Lesson for today. In this second segment, we shall be looking at the operations and daily members of Nigerian Stock Exchange. The operations. The Nigerian Stock Exchange, NSC, is regulated by the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, which has the mandate of surveillance over the exchange to foster breaches of market rules and to deter and detect unfair manipulations and trading practices. Data on listed securities performances are published daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and annually, and are available on the Nigerian Stock Exchange website, www.nse.com.ng. The Nigerian Stock Exchange has been operating an automated trading system, ATS, since April 27, 1999, with dealers trading through a network of computers connected to a server. In 2013, the NSE launched its XGen, the next generation trading platform and catalyst for boosting trading in Africa. The XGen has brought about the advent of mobile trading technologies to the retail and institutional segments of the Nigerian capital market. Trading on the Nigerian Stock Exchange starts at 9.30 a.m. and closes at 2.30 p.m. every Monday to Friday. In order to encourage foreign investments into Nigeria, the government has abolished legislation preventing the flow of foreign capital into the country. This has allowed foreign brokers to enlist as dealers on the Nigerian Stock Exchange and investors of any nationality are free to invest. Nigerian companies are also allowed multiple and cross-border listings on foreign markets. In a bid to promote transparency and trust in the capital markets, the Nigerian Stock Exchange reconstituted the Investors Protection Funds in 2012. The fund is mandated to compensate investors who suffer pecuniary loss arising from the revocation or cancellation of the registration of a dealing member, insolvency, bankruptcy, or negligence of a dealing member, or defecation committed by a dealing member or any of its directors, officers, employees, or representatives. Dealing members of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. The dealing members of the Nigerian Stock Exchange are institutions who licensed by the exchange as stock brokers, can buy and sell securities quoted on the exchange on behalf of the investing public. A dealing member company is defined by the exchange as a company incorporated and registered under the Companies Act, which the exchange issued a license for the purpose of dealing in stocks, shares, and other securities listed on the exchange. There are 226 dealing members of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Many of them are affiliates of banks and other financial institutions employing people who have passed the authorized clerkship examination of the Nigerian Stock Exchange and the Shattered Institute of Stockbrokers of Nigeria. Following the abrogation of the Exchange Control Act of 1962 and the Nigerian Enterprise Promotion Decree of 1989, foreign investors can now participate in the ownership of Nigerian stock broken houses. Section 5, subsection 1 and 2 of the Administrative Guideline for Foreign Investment through the Nigerian Stock Market provides that dealing members of the Nigerian Stock Exchange can now accommodate foreign shareholders in their equity capital or go into any form of partnership with foreign stockbrokers slash firms. Applications from foreign stockbrokers as members of the Nigerian Stock Exchange can now be entertained within the rules and regulations of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, as well as registration with Securities and Exchange Commission and Corporate Affairs Commission. The members of Nigerian Stock Exchange are as follows. Number one, the jobbers. These are the recognized members of the stock exchange market who buy and sell specified securities on their own behalf for a profit called jobbers' turn. They are wholesale traders 
in securities that transact business only with the brokers who act on behalf of investors. Number two, the stock brokers. These are the key operators of the stock exchange market who buy and sell securities on behalf of investors for a commission called brokerage. They are the professionals licensed by the Security and Exchange Commission to act as intermediaries between investors who buy and sell securities. Criteria for dealings. Number one, applicant company shall be limited liability company with special interest in providing financial services to companies and investors. Two, they must be registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission to carry on business as issuing and or stock brokerage houses. Three, promoters of applicant company must be people of high integrity with proven expertise in the provision of financial services. Four, the minimum authorized and paid up share capital of an applicant company shall be 20 million naira. Five, applicant company shall be required to give an undertaking to establish their head office in the area of jurisdiction of the branch exchange they are affiliated with and in at least one other office in any area governed by another branch exchange or as any form time to time to prescribe by the council. Number six, applicant company shall be required to give an undertaking for payment of the sum of one million era or such other sum as the council may from time to time prescribe towards the Nigerian Stock Exchange Investors Protection Fund. We shall go on a short break now. When we come back, we shall continue with Abuja Securities and Commodity Exchange. See you soon. You are welcome back to the third segment of Financial Accounting Lesson for today. In this concluding segment, we shall be looking at Abuja Securities and Commodities Exchange. The Abuja Securities and Commodity Exchange Asset is one of the two principal stock exchanges in Nigeria with headquarters in Abuja. It was founded on June 17, 1998. Abuja Securities and Commodities Exchange Asset started e-commerce in May 2001 and became the Nigerian Commodity Exchange, NCE, under the direction of the Federal Ministry of Commerce. This stock exchange has the peculiarity of being involved in the negotiation of based products such as maize, sorghum, and millet. The Abuja Securities and Commodities Exchange asset is therefore primarily involved with the trading of commodities such as maize, sorghum, and millet as opposed to the trading in securities such as bonds and company stock. The following actors are involved in the Abuja Securities and commodities exchange market. One, agricultural policies. The strategy in question here is for the government to identify a food crop widespread in each area of the federation in order to encourage each of the zones to stimulate the production of these food crops. The goal is not to cultivate the food crop alone for local consumption, but mainly for export. Two, solid minerals policies. This aims at promoting efforts to stimulate the solid mineral sector. 3. Trading rules and regulations. This refers to the financial institutions and the traders of business execution having the right to execute trades on the stock market floor for the negotiation of raw materials. 4. Warehouse rules and regulations. This is an independent commercial warehouse registered and authorized by the stock exchange, SEC or any other regulatory organization established by a law of the National Assembly to accept storage products, deliver certificates, and warehouse receipt for the real owner's account. This picture of the man displayed here is Mr. Oscar N. Oyema. Mr. Oscar N. Oyema is the Chief Executive Officer of the Nigerian Stock Exchange and the President of African Securities Exchange Association. The next picture that is displayed is the headquarters building of Nigerian Stock Exchange in Lagos. The next picture displayed is the floor of Nigerian Stock Exchange. As you can see, one or two stock brokers on the floor of Nigerian Stock Exchange. Each of the stock broker has is our own computer that is uh, dealing with. 
The next picture is showing the market activities. This is how you can see the equities, you see bonds, and you see ETFs. This is how it is being displayed almost every day from Monday to Friday on the Nigerian Stock Exchange market. If you took a look very well at it, you will discover the, the, the deals, the volume, then the value, and also the equity capitalization. You see the bond capitalization. You see the ETF capitalization, which are always shown on the Nigerian Stock Exchange market. This one that is displayed is the activities as of 2020. The next picture is showing the stock brokers getting information from the main board of Nigerian Stock Exchange. That is how they read it in order to know how to carry out the trading activities in the floor of Nigerian Stock Exchange. The next picture is the Abuja Security and Exchange Commission building at Abuja. We have come to the end of today's financial accounting lesson. Stay safe and God bless you.